Well, Disc Golf fans, this is Derek Skull and Chris German once again with Gatekeeper Media, and this is the moment you've all been waiting for. The final round for the 2019 Las Vegas Challenge, and boy, do we have a card for you. Yeah. We have the Crush Boys. We do. it off with. We also have another Crusher. We swapped out a Canadian. So yeah. We got, <laughs> we got rid of Marty. We took uh, Tom Gilbert here. Yeah, who was on fire round one, and we've kind of seen him bouncing around the different cards here. So really happy to have him along for the ride with us today as well. Yeah, so everyone's sitting at 27 under. We have Eagle McMahon. Uh, Eagle McMahon. Ugh. We have Kale LaVisca, Simon Lazat, and Thomas Gilbert. Everyone's tied for ninth right now. Still a very tight field. We look at the stats here, though. Basically, Calvin has a pretty good lead coming into this final. Yeah, I would say that he's in a very comfortable position. But again, he uh, they haven't teed off yet, so there's still a lot of people that could potentially be coming for him. Yeah, still a lot of golf here. As we're going to move into hole one, a 390-foot par three. You do have to worry about OB with cart path to the right, but we should expect pretty standard hyzers from these guys. Yeah, and I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if everybody lands just about near the circle. Right yeah. off the bat. You have that hill right behind on the basket, so you can be a little more aggressive with throwing it there. Knowing oh, yeah. that it can it can stick on that hill. Yep, just let it dig in and yeah. work its way back down. Now we did see a little bit of a fierce roll away uh before. Round two. Uh, yeah. yeah. So let's hope that doesn't happen today, yeah. folks. Let's hope not. So first up we have Eagle. We had the pleasure of filming him in Delaware final round and he was on fire that day. He actually broke. Remember, he broke the course record. Yeah, but, but only Macbeth, only to have Macbeth break break his, it break again. his record. Yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. Very nice shot. Good way to start. So just like we were saying, textbook. Yeah. <laughs> so he's gonna park that. We have Tom from the Toronto area. So only player on the card that's under a thousand rated as well. Which. By the way that he's been playing, that really surprises me. So I, I have no doubt in my mind that this tournament itself lended it to, you know, bump him up a little oh, bit. Yeah. And he should be able to keep up with these guys today. He's a crusher. And actually goes right over the hill. All right. All right. It's well within his range. And we have Simon Lazat, one of your favorites. Yep. Yeah. And uh, this is the first time that we've had the pleasure of filming him as well. And um, it was pretty challenging. Yeah. Uh, he, he elects to go pretty uh, Spike Heiser most of the time. Yeah. He, when, whenever he can, he does. <laughs> he goes big. Kind of like that. We were able to keep the disc in yeah, frame there. A little short, though, for him. Did that one surprise, surprise you a little bit? Yeah. I notice we do not have your angle here. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. Oh, yeah. Lastly, we have Kale LaVisca. No stranger to that name. He's been around for some time. Really nice guy. Yeah, so it looks like I didn't really have a good shot here. <laughs> so, again, it happens. Movie magic. And Kale's... Oh, it hits that tree. Yeah. You can see it. It's going to roll right on that green. You can hear people in the background like, Oh, that's uh. just not right. <laughs> Um, but it isn't it isn't OB or anything, so you know he's just gotta fight up a little bit. Yeah, he's gonna have to take his three, unfortunately. Not the best way to start the final round for you. Better than a bogey. Yeah. Simon, nice putt. Yeah, it makes that look easy. One down through one for Simon. We didn't film any Discmania the entire tournament till the final round. Then we had two of them. Yeah, and. Some would say they're two top billing athletes on the team. Yeah. There's Tom kind of overshot over that hill. He's a good... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Too soon. Oh, no. That might be one of the worst rollaways I think I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Folks, let us know in the comments what is the farthest roll away that you've ever seen. Because that one's pretty bad. So he's going to lay up. He's going to have to take his four. He spoke too soon. I did. Sorry, Tom. His eagle's going to get a really nice birdie. Tap in four. Yeah. 
But he's just going to have to walk that one off and just reset for hole two. Yeah. Still a lot of golf. So we're going to move into hole two. This is 270 foot. I would say the most heavily wooded on the course and the most technical. With these guys, though, I kind of expect them to go up and over. Kind of get rid of even trying to hit that gap. Yeah, and just shy of half of the field after the cut had a hit for birdie on this hole. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it plays as a pretty easy hole overall. Yeah, we mentioned it before. Now, obviously, we have two folks on the car that we it's safe to expect that they're going to just spike over <laughs> just top like that. of everything. <laughs> um, but honestly, the traditional play was really just up the gut, keeping it low. Yeah. And to be honest, like I would even anticipate some people throwing a mid-range, like a nice stable mid-range. Yeah. A little fade to the left. It's just a slight gradual fade to the left. See, now I was ready for the up-the-gut shot this time around, and Kale unfortunately gets stopped up by that bush. His time went from 9th to 19th just with one stroke taking that. That's how close it is. Yeah. It's, oh, and he gets a bad reaction Ooh. too. So he's got some work to do for sure. He's going to be furthest away. Yeah. I mean, not taking any green on your first two holes in the finals is its a tough way to start your round. Yeah, and then he didn't really have a good vantage point for that shot that he just had yeah. either because of the uh, the low-hanging branch in front. Kale getting challenged a little bit here. We'll see how his straddle game is. And, ooh, nice. Nice putt. Little uh, little step straddle. <laughs> yeah. So I know that you uh, you had an interaction with Simon here. Uh, yeah. You were kind of in the middle of changing positions, and he paused and let you move through, right? Not even. I was just going to bite the bullet and just stay there knowing I didn't have a good angle, and he saw where I was at, and he was like, hey, you can move. And took me, and I, I was like, thank you. And I like ran across the, <laughs> the green and got a better angle. And then he missed the putt, and I felt really bad. Uh, but it was very cool to see him do that with everything he's doing on YouTube, uh, growing his channel and his brand. Oh, I he's think he's probably he's, familiar with the, the policies uh, with media. Yeah, he's plenty aware. So big shout out to Simon for that. Thank you. So he's going to be taking a three. Not very enthused about it. No. We're going to look at a recap from last round. Tom was the only one that was 100% inside circle putt. Eagle was the best in circle regulation at 78%. I mean, he was basically getting everything inside the circle and then making everything inside the circle. I don't think he had a putt outside of the circle that he made. We're moving to hole three. This is a par three, 270 foot. The first time we bring water into play. Most guys are probably going to go to the right key or probably skip up. Yeah, we did see uh, a handful of folks doing uh, like a sidearm approach here and kind of hovering over the water. That is a dangerous play because if you come up a little shorter, you hit that tree a little sharp, uh, you're, you're going you're gonna to lose your disc. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know if you can get much closer than that oh, one. Perfect shot from Eagle. Kale's... Almost the same thing, a little shorter, but yeah, I was gonna say uh, he probably could have, he probably w would have wanted it to be a little deeper, but yeah. still manageable nonetheless. Yeah. Well within his range, as Simon's is a little heavier coming in, and yeah, but he hit close to the same spot too. Yeah, different angle, same spot. That's what I love about this game is that you can have so many different throws that give you the same thing. So it's really just about your comfort level, and then when you get tested. So here we go. What I was talking about there. Yeah. And look at that, he lands second closest out of everyone. It was a great shot. This Kale will be putting here. I think it's safe to say we're gonna see our first star frame. Don't wanna jinx it yet, but <laughs> <laughs> it's a little too early. I mean, well within. Uh...
to move into hole four. Another par three coming in at 357 feet. This one, I expect everyone to do a really big hyzer with the players we have on our card. We might see a tombstone or two. Yeah, the, the, the ground is perfect for it. So they kind of move the basket. It allows it so you don't really have any rollaways. It, once again, they kind of put it on the hillside where you could be a little more aggressive as throwing it knowing you can stick it on that hill. Yeah, probably because, you know, they're making this slightly easier because there's a couple holes on the course that they did kind of tweak and make a little more difficult. And there, there it is. <laughs> that's, de that's deep, too. <laughs> Kale, 29 under, so it's two down through three. Comes up a little short. So two down through three. Nice. Yeah, right where you want to be. Tom, trying to really recover from that first hole, kind of set him back a little bit with the bogey, sitting in 17th now. And a little outside the circle for this putt, too. Oof, slightly high. Should be a pretty good putt for, for Kale. Haven't really seen anyone make many uphill putts so far. I, I stand <laughs> corrected. Very nice putt from Kale. How do you feel about that one? Are we, are we going to give him one? Uh, let's rewind that for you. All right, let's do it. And Kale is just kind of secretly on fire right now. <laughs> Low key on fire. Yeah. He's three for three. I think someone called that a turkey. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> Great putt. So Tom's having a putt back for par. And he gets it. And. Crush boys are going to tap in their birdies. Hot start for Eagle. So he is four under through four, a 1046 rating. I mean, every year it just goes higher and higher. Well, especially, uh, I mean, Everyone watching here now knows his, his placing for the memorial and that hot rated round oh, that he had. Yeah, he crushes it. We're going to move in hole five. This is our first par four coming in at 606. A lot of these guys are going to pitch out kind of where the drone is now. And you have a pretty touchy up shot where you do have to worry about OB behind you and also the green there to the right. Is the sand trap hazard here as well? Yeah, sand trap is hazard everywhere. If you find yourself in sand, you are taking a stroke. Eagle's going to go forehand. Just land out there. That tree could be in the way there. We'll see. So Kale in fourth. 30 under for the entire tournament. Ooh, he pulls that to the right a little bit. Yeah. Does, and uh, so something that we did clip a little bit out of the, the footage is that he did stand on the box for... Uh, a good minute or so because there was some folks kind of like walking through mm -hmm. and he had made the comment that he he didn't want to hit them and then of course he pulls in their direction so oh, that might be them by the tree there that yeah. talking about great shot i love when they just drop right in front of me awesome shot from simon tom even for the round so far now this uh you see him uh, take a look. That car yeah. did honk its horn. Oh, did it? Yeah. And <laughs> throws that off the ground. With a really massive skip. Yeah. Just unfortunate reaction from that tree. That's crazy. Let's see if he can get up and down for the birdie still. He should. Yeah, it's good that you kind of have that bailout to that wall there. You don't have to worry about OB. I mean, if you go over it, but... 
Yeah, and it's right at the foot of the hill too. So that the only problem is is that there's not a lot of footing there, yeah. like level level ground mm -hmm. footing. So Kale's gonna park that. Yeah, everyone's really excited for for Eagle hearing about Eagle's round that he had, but Kale's round is just as good. Shot for shot, yeah. yeah. It's both of these guys are just parking everything. Yeah, and with Kale like that, the the shot that he just had, like you could say, it's scramble ish, <laughs> like he didn't find himself oh, yeah. in, in terrible danger, but he recovered from it very very well. Yeah, they they definitely classified that as a scramble. Good putt there from Tom. He takes the three. Good recovery. Yeah. Eagle has a, a tester putt. I'd say this is probably the hardest putt he's seen so far with two parks already. Three parks, actually. He's parked every hole. Mm. One with a tombstone. Yeah. He makes it. Kale just on the other side of the tree. And I think we can say this is number two. Second star frame of the round. Nice birdie from Simon. I'm gonna look. Calvin just getting out there now. Kevin Jones, really good start. Eagle, five for five. Tied for second currently. Now it looks like Calvin has been, uh, you know, he's, he's, he hasn't been playing yet, so like he's probably looking at the stats and mm -hmm. kind of surveying the field and kind of planning his, his, his attack. Yeah. We'll see how this is going to play out. So moving the whole six, par three at 222 feet. Pretty tight green. You have to worry about the water there. You do have OB long and to the left. And the drop zone's pretty tough. It's not a gimme. It is definitely not a gimme, and you could overshoot it and find yourself wet. Oh, no. Ooh. And barely, barely out. The first mistake from Eagle, and really probably the most costly one, uh. as that stroke could come back to bite him. Now, I've said it once, and I'll say it again, but this, this might be my favorite hole on yeah. this course. Uh, it's really beautiful and, and challenging. Oh, no. Cal goes long too. Two of three. Two of three. We only had two throw. Oh jeez. <laughs> long, long night, folks. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're we're closing it out. Simon, he it, makes it. Yeah, it did not get up that hump like he probably wanted, but it's manageable. Yeah, it stayed dry. So with the last hole, Tom finally got on the board, sitting at one under, and he kind of around where Simon is. And like you said, this is definitely a scary putt. Is None it, of the drop zones here are easy. Yeah, this is a <laughs> tough, tough course for drop zones. As he just uh, wings it over to the left a little too much. So unfortunately for Eagle, he's going to be taking a four. Kale follows Ooh. up and says, oh, I'll show you how it's done. Kale's circle two putting is, is really good right now. It's probably the second one. Tom will take the two as well as Simon. So Simon low key now. Four down through four. He's sitting in a really good spot. And didn't really seem to have to work very hard for it either. He was just, you know, really great placements off the tee and then tap ends for... Yeah, he's uh, he's something to watch. Just like the way he puts, it's so casual. He just... Yeah, and, and not, a, not a lot of routine either. Yeah, he just kind of walks up and just throws it. Yeah, and Eagle finds himself a bogey. Yeah, taking that four. It's going to be a tough one. We look, we've showed this a couple times. A little more relevant now with Eagle being in there. <laughs> I mean, he's, he has a chance to repeat. There's definitely a chance here. So we're going to move into hole seven. This is a par four coming in at 432 feet. 
I expect all these guys to run it. So, if you get down there and you throw it in the sand trap, you have yourself a look at it. So, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's definitely something you would be aggressive on, and I think in the final round, everyone here should be aggressive. Agreed. So Simon tied for second at 32 under. The only one he has to worry about is Calvin. And ooh, that makes it. Oh, oh no! I spoke too soon. Yeah, it's gonna take the hazard. Still could get the three though. This is a very interesting par four. So Thomas really cooks this one. Get through and oh boy! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh. Well, luckily, it did get stopped, but. Leaves him a lot of that's work. A, yeah, that's that's gonna be a tough look. Kales looks like he's kind of just he's gonna pitch up. He's gonna pitch up and take his three. I wonder if he's looking at the scores at this moment and, and wondering like I'm just gonna play safe golf. I did see I did see the players checking their phones. You know, semi frequently throughout the round to just to see. Mm -hmm. Now, there was a backup at this hole, too. Like, I think it might have been a two-card backup as Eagle... Yeah. Finds himself in yeah. the opposite trap. Kale okay, playing the fast green here, and he just slides right on up to the pin. So he has simple three. That was pure utility shot from, yeah. <laughs> from Thomas. He knew that that was not worth yeah. running. No, not at all. Simon... Almost fell there. Is this will be for his birdie? Ooh, a little high and right. Yeah. <laughs> it caught though. So Simon's feeling it now. He's five down through five. I paused the video in that clip. He, uh, I called him staring, staring me down, yeah. looking into my soul. <laughs> He left you right in the eyes. Well, I think it's cool that I, I'm throwing the Scorpius just for the simple fact that they produce them. It's a disc that's very similar to the Destroyer. It has a really similar feel since it was based off of the original Destroyers. It's just uh, not as overstable. I would say, for for guys that don't have as much power, this is this is basically, you know, a long-range, multi-purpose shooter, whether it be backhand or forehand. This disc was vital right off the bat. All right, we're gonna move into hole eight, 427 foot par three. It's gonna be a slight downhill to the right. Kind of challenges the players a little bit. Yeah, and it's it's pretty interesting because uh, kind of on the end of the the word there, there is a tree that we have seen, we saw, unfortunately, Brian did clip that in round two. Yeah, he clipped the one to the left. Mm -hmm. uh, we did see some people clip the ones to the right as well. So people definitely have been hitting trees on this hole. Simon's gonna go with a real big turnover. Oh no, if that gets too stable, and that's, that's gonna go OB. So that's gonna be a pretty big mistake from Simon. Where's a dog when you need one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we see Tom's forehand. Very nice. So that's the kind. Of, that's the kind of drives you want to start bringing yourself back up from that. Uh, oh yeah. The unfortunate start. And there's definitely still room to to make your way up because it's such a tight field. He definitely works his way back up into this top 10. Yeah, and hope somebody else has a misstep too. <laughs> yeah. We just saw Simon have one. Scales drops right down onto that green. Should be a good putt, but well within his range. I believe that's around where uh, where Marty earned himself a rewind. Yeah, he was right on the edge of that, that green. So I expected Eagle to go with a forehand and his... Monster drive. Yeah. So he's the farthest over there to the right. Mm. 
Good run. Yeah. Great run. So Kale looking to keep a good streak. Oh. Oh. I love when players, that's like the third or fourth person we've seen, like really move their body, like to try to get the disc in. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I get like that, like if you're playing video games and you're like uh -huh. a racing game, you're like turning with it. You're yeah. like, oh no. If only it, if only it mattered. He doesn't need any help. I don't think he's going to miss anything. I mean, he had that one little slip up, but other than that, he's just been consistent. Well, now he's he's got more motivation than ever. Yeah. He knows he's got to make up for a bogey. But it's a good feeling seeing that everyone else is bogeyed except for Cal. So... Nice putt from Tom. And there it is. There's a, the two you were talking about that he needs. Kale kind of revisiting the the putt he just had. And there he is, finding himself in front of me again. <laughs> That's fine. Can't be mad at him for it. So these guys are just going to tap in. Well, I was convinced that he's he was doing product placement. <laughs> getting, getting prodigy in front of the camera. He might. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at Tom out from Toronto. Like I said, the only one under 1,000 rating here. Only 62 tournaments. Yeah, but 12 wins. Yeah, so I think he's off to be a really big hit. Yeah, and that unfortunate roll away. It yeah. just it hurts to watch. And that's the start of this round, and it, that's hard to come back from, from there. Oh, so, it'll get in your head for sure. Yeah, he's definitely been keeping his composure overall. So finishing out the front nine. Yeah, we have a par pretty, pretty pretty long, pretty long look. Yeah, par four. You have this tunnel shot that you have to kind of get out to, and then once you're out, you have a pretty touchy up shot where you do have to worry about this hazard right behind the basket. Plays as a pretty easy hole overall, though. So Tom's in twelfth, so he's not in a terrible spot. Mm, this I isn't it took that took all the all the fight out of that. Yeah. But he should be able to get towards the pin from there. So Eagle tied for fifth currently, sitting at 33 under. So he is six down for the round. So that, that stands. Hard. Yeah, that's hard to see. Yeah, and I saw it stand up really nice, and it's right into the tree. Uh, if that didn't hit the tree, that would have been that would have slid in, right up yeah, there. That yeah, that would have been in the circle. So Kale in eighth, sitting at 32 under, only a stroke between him and the Eagle. Putting up a show. Yeah. That's a great looking shot. Yeah, that's textbook, exactly what you want to do. He'll have an easy up shot. Pretty safe too. Like if you're if you're it gives you the option to play safe. Simons. That needed to stand up, didn't really. A lot of distance, but really far to the left. Or at least he's got company over there. Yeah. All right, yeah. that should be a, an easy make for him. Yeah. Kale. Just laying it up. It's going to take another three. Simon, textbook upshot. Eagle, are we going to see a run? I think so. I'd hope so. Yeah. Oh. Just floats it a little over. I mean, he's so confident that he knows he can make that putt back, so. Good putt from Tom. Other than that one red in the beginning, he really picked it up. He's five down through the last five. Yeah, starting to look really good. Yeah, sitting at 32 under. Eagles is all green except one hole. That's such a shame. Yeah. So he's sitting seven under. 
Simon tied for seventh. He has that one bogey in there as well. So, yeah, and other than the bogey and the and the par, he'd be yeah. all green as well. And then Kale with a couple pars, a lot of green, no bogeys, no reds. Impressive. Yeah. So we're gonna take another look at those scores. Eagle sitting at 34 under. Only a stroke between Simon and Kale there. And then Tom's only two strokes behind Eagle, so yeah. still a really, really tight race. So we're gonna take a look at the leaderboards. Heimberg, not a great start. Dustin Keegan, only one stroke behind him. Kevin Jones, Masaki's in there. Eagle's still in the running, only two strokes. So we're starting to finish this out. We only have one more nine, folks. Yeah, so uh, let us know what you think so far, and we are looking forward to uh, hanging out with you for the back nine of final round for 2019 LVC.